Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to learn how to send coupon code to Brevo subscribers from Google Sheet. So what are we going to do is integrate Brevo and Gmail and also we are going to have Google Sheets in the middle where we are going to fetch coupons from. So whenever a new contact is added in Brevo, formerly known as Send in Blue, then a coupon will be fetched from Google Sheet and sent to the newly added customer via Gmail. So in this automation, our trigger will be new contact added in Brevo, then Google Sheet where we will fetch the coupon from and then our last action step will be Gmail where we will send the email. So let us create this automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So let us learn that how you can send your customers who are in your Brevo account unique coupon codes that you will be taking from your Google Sheets where you have collected all the codes and the status of these codes is not used. So what is going to be done is that you will take a customer, newly added customer in your Brevo account and then a coupon which is not used in your Google Sheet will be taken from here and then in the end of the workflow we will update the status to used so that this coupon is not used again for any other customer. So let us learn how can we can do it. Quickly sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli and we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now. That will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as send coupon code to Brevo subscriber. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. Like you can see on your screen, you will be able to see the two major modules, Trigger and Action of Pabli Connect, on which the whole automation works. Now, first of all, I would like to remind you to prepare a Google Sheet where you will be keeping all your coupons and the status as not used over here. And also your Brevo account where we will be adding a new contact. So let us go back to our workflow and understand the Trigger and Action functioning. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this, which means that Trigger will be the first application where the event will take place manually or we can say that we are going to perform the event which is going to be creating a contact or a new contact being registered in your Brevo account. So when we choose it over here, Brevo which was formerly sent in blue, so do not get confused. The trigger event over here will be new contact added to a list which means whenever a new contact will be added over here, then a response will be received over here. And then our action says do this, which means that whenever a new contact is added, the action application, which is going to be Gmail or Google Sheets, will help us to send the coupon code to our customer. So let us follow the trigger first. Pabli Connect gives us a webhook URL which is used to connect your trigger and your Pabli Connect in such a way that whichever is the trigger application, it will fetch the information from here of the trigger event. So these are the instructions provided to you. Once you're done with these instructions and the webhook is connected to your Brevo account, then whenever a new contact will be added, you will receive a response right here. So let us follow these. First of all, copy this webhook from here. Now it starts waiting for a webhook response, which means the process of integration has been started. So let us go to our Send in Blue account. Under Contacts, go to Settings. And here you will find webhooks. Click on webhooks. And here you will find two webhooks already connected. So what you will do is you can delete this webhook which is for contact deleted or contact added to the list. So now we do not have any webhook right here. You are going to delete these webhooks only in the situation that any common webhook is pre-existing. Then click on add new webhook and here you will paste your URL that you copied from your workflow. And then you have to select which event will take place for this webhook to work. So when a contact is added to a list, we want this to be satisfied. Click on add and your webhook is saved successfully. Now once it is done, after you click on add button, your integration is complete. So let us come back to our contacts and now we will create a new contact in our Brevo account so that all the data related to that contact is brought over here. Click on create a contact and enter the details. Email over here. The last name is this and the first name is this. Enter the contact number, any list you want to fit into. So you can select the list. This will depend on your requirement amount. If there is any amount, notes and close date and everything, click on create. And once you click on create, see it's created over here. This will load and it will be visible right here. But when you go back, you will see that you received a response and here you have the email address. 
Now, we do not have the contact number, the complete name of the person. We just have the email address. So what you can do is add one more step over here and retrieve that data. But one thing that has to be kept in mind is that we generally do not require the name and the contact number because we are going to send the coupon code to this customer with the help of this email address and we already have the email address. So that step will be an unnecessary addition to your workflow. So I would suggest do not add any step. You can use this email address itself. Now you have the email address where you want to send the notification or send the coupon code. But you also need the coupon code that you have collected over here in your Google Sheet. So what you're going to do, choose your action application as Google Sheet because we are going to fetch this data from your sheet to your workflow. The event will be look up spreadsheet rows. So it looks into spreadsheet rows of the data that we will be putting the value. So click on connect. Select your Google Sheet by add new connection and because it is a Google account, it is a Google application, sign in with your Google account. Select your Google account and click on allow. Once this is done, the connection is successful and you will get a form like dialog box where you have to fill in details. First of all, select the name of your sheet. The spreadsheet name is coupons for new Brevo users. We have selected that one and the sheet is already selected because we have just one sheet over here. Now, which column you want to find? You cannot look for these columns because these are unique columns. You have to find something which is an identity, which is the status. So you have to look for column B. So find column B over here. Look up column is B and look up value is not used. Okay. So it will look up for column B and the value will be not used. Okay, this will be looked up. So we will get the information of all these coupons, right? You want to have the header and the response. The headers are this coupon code and status. If you want, then fine. If you don't, then you can take it to false. When you click on save and send test request, you will see that you will receive the complete information that is present in your Google Sheet. The first code and the status not used. That second code, the status. Third code, the status. So all are here. Okay, what you're going to do is that when you send the code to your customer this time in this workflow, you will take the first one over here. Because as I mentioned in the very beginning, that by the end of this workflow, we will be updating the used coupon code over here. The status will change to used, which means that next time when this workflow will run, and it will look up for the value not used in column B. So this will become used because it is already used and there it will be changing and it will start looking for values from the second row onwards. So that is why we are going to take this response only and let us close this window because we have received the coupon details from your Google Sheets and now we will send the mail to our customer using Gmail. Choose your action application as Gmail and the event will be simply send email. Click on connect again this is a google application so click on add new connection and connect with your google account choose your account and click on allow giving access to public connect to send email using gmail now you have to enter the email address of the recipient which is the customer that we will take or map from our brevo that is trigger responses you will map it so that every time a new user is created in your brevo then the new email address will be here so we are mapping that email address it is not going to be a static data what is the sender name? So I am putting over here Brevo because Brevo is sharing these coupons. What is the email subject? Coupon codes for new customer is the subject. Now the content will be typed as Hello dear user, we have a unique coupon for you as a welcome gift. Here is the coupon and you will map the coupon that you have taken from Google Sheet. The first one right here. Okay. Put a full stop and in the end you can type your data or just say regards. Now you can customize this email as per your requirement. Any file or attachment is not required, just the coupon was there. So click on save and send test request and the mail will be sent. And here is the response, it says sent. So let us go and check at our dummy email address that have we received the mail or not. This is my inbox of the dummy email and see Brevo has sent me a mail. The subject of my mail is coupon codes for new customer. Open it and see this is the one we just created, which means that we were able to send this email of the coupon code to our customer of the dummy email right here. So now once we have sent the email to the person with the coupon, we need to change the status of to used from not used. All right, so what you're going to do is this will also going to take place automatically because you never know when a new customer will be created over here and the coupon will be used. So what you're going to do, 
create the automation for the same here again choose your google sheets as your application in your action window and the event this time will be update cell value now you could have chosen update row values or update row but we just want one column one cell to be updated right so update cell value click on connect now you do not need to add new connection because you're using google sheets for the second time in the workflow keep it on select existing connection and click on save now again you have to select your spreadsheet the name is coupons for new brevo users and the sheet is one so you have to enter the range also that where you want to select or where you want to change the cell value so we are not going to have any name of this like c5 or b2 because if you type b2 then only this column or this cell will be changed we want this whole row to be changed one by one all right so i will just type b over here because b is the row and i will map the row index from this google sheet which is 2 so this row index will change every time and every time a new cell will be updated all right what is the value so the change in value will be used over here so when you click on save and send test request and you go back you will see that this will be changed to used it just changed right in front of you and that is how the response will say that yes the cells are updated which means that every time a new customer is created in brevo then the google sheet will bring all the leftover or not used coupons over here and then send send the email of the coupon code to the customer's email address and also the used coupon will be changed to the status of used so that the rest of not used can be used for the second customer or the next customer so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.